Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel, Serendipity. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Clarkson making fun of Americans' compilation. I'm pretty sure everybody knows who Jeremy Clarkson is, especially now. A lot of his videos are getting put into, like, Instagram reels and, you know, making memes and stuff out of it. So, I feel like if you didn't know, there's a good chance you do know now or, like, you have definitely have seen him at some point. I haven't seen any of his, like, long videos or shows that he's in or anything like that. I've only ever seen, like, little clips. First thing that comes to mind is when he ties a log to a car to stop it from rolling backwards and then he says like he's driving with it like still tied to the back and then he says something like oh, I'm such a genius it's like frightening or something something along those lines and then like it cuts to bouncing up and hitting his back window and shattering it oh now that I'm just thinking about it the other one that I've seen countless amount of times at this point is him driving a car taking off his seatbelt and like just rolling out of the car those two i've seen so many times so yeah let's watch him make fun of americans <laughs> and i guess that would be me too let's get into this video and if this were america it would be full of people doing whatever it is they do incest mostly god florida's awful nasty insects old people fat people a lot of people who are all for you cheese you want cheese with that? You want cheese with that? <laughs> and then shoot you. It also says it has a completely flat belly. The only thing in America that has. Yeah, um, right. Good news for rural inbreds this week. Hummer, the people who make those enormous pseudo-military off-roaders, you know, this sort of thing, they have come out with a new range of aftershave and smelly stuff. There it is, Hummer. Mm, it's the first name that springs from. Did you have a look at that? There you go. Yeah. Nice. I didn't know that. When you open the top, listen to the sound. Yes, exactly. Oh, de Ganja. Guaranteed not to repel your sister. Yes. <laughs> Well, you say it was a holiday, but actually it was a fly-drive holiday, so it wasn't a holiday at all, because, of course, you get to the car hire desk, and there's the gormless man with the spiky hair, and he types War and Peace into his computer for 16 hours, and then he doesn't know where England is, and he steals your driving licence, and then he directs you to a car park where your car isn't. Is it? You see, the problem is, is that the Americans aren't good on colours, and so they, you basically you pay a fortune for the damn thing, and they say you can have it in red, white, black, yellow, or blue. What do we think? Steady. It's only just, just quickly, okay, news from America, land of the free. <laughs> um, they've announced in Florida that it's now legal, that's legal for bikers to ride their motorcycles without a crash helmet, as long as they can prove they've got $10,000 worth of health insurance. Well, that's just stupid. Hmm. Apart from anything else, what's the point of insuring Americans' head? There's nothing in it. <laughs> yes, Miami, home to all the most successful drug dealers. This year's Mr. Big Mac and Silicon Valley. All very good. Cool. <laughs> I was in America a couple of years ago filming at this tech place in Texas, which is the biggest car dealership in the world. The frontage is a mile long. And I said to the guy who owned it, what do you sell here? And he went, we sell a lot. And he mispronounced every single argot. Hyundai, Mitsubishi, <laughs> Toyota, <laughs> Nissan, Jaguar, <laughs> BMW. Every single one of them was wrong. And you call it Hyundai. Hmm. I prefer Hyundai. Hyundai. <laughs> The Americans are very bad at some things. They can't say aluminium, <laughs> and they can't win a war without our help, but... <laughs> the Moroso Motorsports Park is unusual in America because it has left-handed turns and some which go right as well. Perhaps that's why it was deserted, too complicated for the colonials. Or maybe everyone had been murdered. Some say that it's a CIA experiment that went wrong and that he only eats cheese. All we know is, he's not the Stig, but he is the Stig's American cousin. Ooh. Big Stig! <laughs> oh, the cor I think if I knew who he was talking about, that would have been funnier, but I know nothing, nothing about cars, any famous racers, nothing. I know nothing about any of that stuff, yeah. That enthusiast in America is quite heavy. Yes, they're, they're bigger gentlemen, are they Big not? Big boned. Well, one of them visited the museum this week and this happened. <laughs> Mania, and we said a couple of years ago that this is the best road 
in the world. However, many Americans say, and they do tend to know everything, that AKs down here in M16. Shut up. And a vote Republican flyer. American. You're American? Oh. You can't be, you're nowhere near fat enough. <laughs> Peter Hemi V8. And it'll be rubbish. How do you possibly know? You haven't driven it, they haven't built it yet. Because it's American. All American cars are rubbish. I was over there the other day and I drove that Chrysler 300C SRT8. If you want to pitch that thing. Yes. Appalling in every way. Why? Wow. Remind me, who were the last four teams in the World Cup? All European. Women's finalists at Wimbledon, both European. Men's finalists, both European. Everything anyone ever does in any walk of life is done better by Europeans, Europeans. and it's the same with cars. Granted, apart from with American muscle cars, which only the Americans Why would you? About the only thing I know about a car is that if you're trying to get something reliable and something that you can get once and you'll never have to look for another car, is a Toyota Camry. Those things are priced very expensive, and it doesn't matter if it's an old year, like an older model car, it's still expensive. But everybody that I know that has a Toyota Camry, and it doesn't matter how long they've had it, like, those things just... It takes a lot to break them. And, yeah. That's about, that's pretty much as far as my knowledge on cars go. An American muscle in English! They're excited! It's You're rubbish! It's like a drive! Why it's a are we tractor? doing this? Right! <laughs> If you're thinking of coming to America, this is what it's like. You got your comfort in, you got your best Western, you got your red lobster where you eat. <laughs> everybody's very fat, everybody's very stupid, and everybody's very rude. It's Basically not the whole thing, it program, it's the truth. You've been filming in America, am I right? Oh, yes, and I, I went to America a lot, and I had loads of things to tell you about America, and then I got there, and everybody backstage is American. Well, so that's it's a lovely place. Well, no, no, you see, I'm going to see whether you have... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So when you meet Americans, because you're not a fan of America, are you? Or American I, culture? I, no. <laughs> I don't, well, I don't know, actually, because as you well know, and I'm sure anyone who's been to America knows, it's when you get to that Mr. Big Mac who's running the immigration desk, and you know you can't be funny, you can't be cheeky, you have to, because you know that he's going to send you to the back of the queue. Yeah. Well, this changes. Mm. Yeah. So we've got, in America, this is very literal in America. Yeah. Well, they don't have anyone speaking other languages, I've never seen though, which is why no. American cars always have the words for what it yeah. is written on it, on the switches. Oh, right. It what says cigarette, lighter, horn, right. light. That's, that's... Whereas everywhere else in the world where there yeah. are other languages, yeah, they it's they symbols. Yeah. That's just how stupid they are. They, they... <laughs> <laughs> they are very literal like that. It's like, um... They call glasses, or spectacles, eyeglasses. They have yeah. to specify where they go on your face. No, but every other word is wrong. I mean, vest. Well, I guess because... I mean, I've never said eyeglasses. I've never said, oh, I'm going to go get a new pair of eyeglasses. I would just say, I'm going to go... Well, I don't even get it. I don't even say that. But anyway, uh, I think also because we also call glasses cups. Yeah, I'll take a glass of whatever. It doesn't even matter if it's not really, the cup isn't really glass. It doesn't matter. It could be plastic. It could be whatever. It could be, the cup could be made out of anything. It's still going to be called glass. And that's the only definition. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. No. No. Pants. No. No. <laughs> when it gets to cars, sedan, hood, fender, freeway, interstate, sidewalk. Trunk. Trunk. <laughs> Trunk is on the front of an elephant, not the back yeah. of a saloon car, but they have no idea. Yeah. Yes. The only thing I could think of with that one is that, like, a trunk is, like, you know, you know one of those, like, big, like, just trunks, and then a uh, back of a car looks like a, like a trunk. That's so, I don't know. I don't know. I have no Gas. Problem. They call a liquid gas. <laughs> There are other examples of this Americanness too. For instance, in most cars, all the buttons have symbols on them, so you know what everything does. But in this, everything's written in English. Because, of course, the whole world speaks English, doesn't it? To someone at Cadillac, came across what in America is a very rare book called an atlas. 
In it, they found many strange and exotic places that weren't America. And one of these places was a continent called Europe. And in Europe, they found a country called Germany. And in Germany, they found something called the Nürburgring. And nor is it the fact that if you buy an American car, you're going to have to commit acts of love with your cousin. And the whole space frame is made from um, aluminum, whatever that is. System is showing the fast food icons. <laughs> First thing it goes to, the default setting, fast food. Jeez. How American is that? It can't find London, can't find France, but it'll find you a burger. <laughs> Iraqi restaurants. Well, that shut her up. <laughs> oh, wow. South it is, it's Christian, short hair, they don't like communists. They really do have an irony the efficiency. I honestly believe that in certain parts of America now, people have started to mate with vegetables. What they'll do is they'll strip out all the interior carpets radio, and that saves £40. Or, which in America is lunch, isn't it? <laughs> Who said Hummer? Might you thinking? No, they're consistently ugly across their range of one car. <laughs> and they're designed by Americans who have the aesthetic... You know, I've only ever heard bad things about Hummer. Like, even here, I don't even know how they even got, like, good sales. Because I've never heard one good thing about a Hummer. Um, so, yeah. I don't, I'm, you don't even see them anymore. But you didn't really see them too much in the beginning anyway. The but... ability of giraffes. <laughs> Which means 0 to 60 will be under 4 seconds. And the best thing is it makes you 27% more attractive to your sister. <laughs> <laughs> why, would, why would the South Koreans nuke Hammersmith? They use American guidance systems. No, no, we're going off topic again. <laughs> it's basically underneath. It's a Mercedes SLK. It was designed by a British person, and it's been built in Germany. So that's a car for America to be proud of. <laughs> really, really safe car, if you crash it. Apparently not. It, uh, here is one that's been crashed, and that doesn't look... Oh, wow. Wow. You would think, to, like, how big and bulky Hummer cars is. You, you would think that would be one of the, at least, at the very least, be one of the safest cars to get in an accident with. But Run into an American's buttock. <laughs> Um, you can He's see dropped his styrofoam coal. Oh, hell, I'm, oh, hell, I've gone and run into my wife. <laughs> One of her cheeks has done that it, it's in the a front mess. of my car. That's a mess. No, it's can car. you play rugby in it? Rugby? Yeah, no, rugby. It's, if you're watching in America, rugby's a bit like American football, only it's played by men. Um, <laughs> so, really, we do have two Top Gear top tips for you tonight. One, uh, yes. You can buy rather than rent, and two, don't go to America. Oh my god, I, I don't know. I love his type of comedy. I I don't know. I don't know if it's his voice, the way he delivers it, maybe a little bit of everything. It's just, it fits perfect with comedy. I feel like he's one of those guys where he doesn't really have to have like a joke. He can just be himself, and something funny will come out of it. But um. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Like always, there's more to come, and I'll see you in the next one.